I don't know this area, but. Alright everyone, welcome back to our Motor Miami. Today we have our buddy Noel. Noel, thank you so much man for making the time for us. No, thank you. No, uh, thank you man. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, since you're now busy making videos on your channel <laughs> uh, and you decided to build a different chassis than your Accord, thank you. Thank you for le uh, letting us learn about it. Uh, for those that may not know, tell us about uh, who you are and your YouTube channel, what's the name of it and what can we expect uh, on your channel. Well, hello everyone. Well, thank you all for watching my channel, and uh, that channel is uh, what SagitNet2. And uh, what I do is uh, building H&F or uh, Frankenstein motor. Mm. Thanks for watching. Yeah, spending all your time, precious time, and hopefully, uh, yeah, I'll put out some more good content. Well, yeah. people love Civics, and yeah. you're mostly you've been w working on your uh, on your sedan Accord, but now this cool build. Uh, the last time we visited you, you, you let us, you know, into your home and thank you for that. It, it was a rolling kind of shell type of thing, you know, we had to push it out of the garage. Yeah. <laughs> now it's a whole different animal. Before we get into the amazing build that you, you know, you have in front of us, such a nice sleeper. What made you go to this Civic route, this specific chassis? Well, this one is, uh, it's not that I'm getting tired of the uh, Honda Accord. Um, it just landed <laughs> in my lap. Oh, okay. Yeah, my w this is belong to my wife. It used to be automatic, oh, and uh, okay. lately when she was using it, uh, it broke down like three times. And I was at work or getting ready to go home. I'll, well, so on the third time, it's not a charm. So I said, <laughs> if there's not a charm, yeah, okay. let me get that and don't ever use that again. And then so there it is. You don't think she was breaking it on purpose so she would get a new car? Because <laughs> these things are reliable, man. Come on now. <laughs> You're like, maybe. No, no, nothing like that. But uh, it just happened that, uh, well, that's why it ended up having a name of Miley. Because it's just a high mileage. 300,000. When you turn 300,000 miles, I mean, it's like all bets are off. So you Bones have... Bones start cracking. Yeah, you really... <laughs> it's like us when we turn 35. Right. We're all of a sudden we're old. Yeah, can't yeah. put out anymore. So, <laughs> yeah, can't put out. but uh, yeah, uh, it requires some more detailed attention and like the motor and stuff. And uh, so it's just. So a normal person like you says, okay, let me take this three hundred thousand yeah. chassis. Let me just boost it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't my intention. <laughs> it's never your intention, Noel. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this motor, this G twenty three, is uh, hooked up to the uh, Snow White. Uh, uh -huh. my Honda Accord but it landed here on, on my lap and then that's where it went you keep saying it landed on my lap that's not how <laughs> it works man <laughs> well I'm a Honda Accord guy <laughs> and the Civic is not really out of your way to do something <laughs> rad like this man stop saying it landed on my lap <laughs> but uh yeah I'll be honest and uh once I got everything all put together with the tires and rims and everything and man it's like I see it it's like you yeah, understand the civic just, fever. Yeah, yeah it's they're just, cool. They're cool. They're cool. Yeah. What was the for you? What was the hardest challenge in building a civic? Because this is the first time ever, right? You built a civic. Yeah. Okay. What was the biggest challenge for you? The biggest challenge really is just putting that motor. Well, yeah, you decided to go and make it really hard to begin with. Yeah. You could have put a V eighteen, but you're like, no, let me put it a, a G. Okay. I think maybe it's just the combination that I have that you know, innovative. Mm -hmm. um, uh, mounts and everything it's a, more like a mix match that's what i what i got more than the regular yeah, yeah. what but transmission again sorry what's that what transmission are you running the transmission is uh from a uh, honda prelude which is the m2 s4 
it's right in the middle it's it's not too uh too long it's not too short oh, okay but i did the uh i neutered this one i put on a fifth gear from a 90 uh, 95 one on board so we'll be cruising that's funny the freeway. yeah that's funny man i mean what did you learn all these mechanical stuff <laughs> I guess it's in my blood. No, uh, my uncle. <laughs> my uncle is a uh, is a mechanic. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think but I not, got it. But not this type of mechanic. Well, I'm a He's on a heavy duty. He was in Vietnam. Oh, okay. Back oh, okay. In the 60s. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got it from him. He's teaching you because he knew one day you were gonna be swapping H's in Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> gotcha. The car is extremely comfortable and the car is really low. So. <laughs> I think it feels faster in this car. I honestly think the car feels faster. Oh my god. But but you're right. The stability that I felt in your core was like we're we're moving, but the car is stable. Yeah. The boat feeling, right? This one it's it starts bit, wobble. Yeah, maybe I need uh, a full uh, alignment traction or or, uh, or yeah. a traction bar as well. I mean, yeah, it has a front traction bar. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah. I didn't see yes. it. Okay, and then alignment, but no, no, I, honestly, it's not. I, I've I've yeah. had plenty of cars where it's just too much power for Civic. Yeah, and also I think the uh, just narrower. You know, yeah. The is much wider. You're such a legend. Holy. This car sounds so good, man. So, so good. And the cool thing is that it's such a sleeper, you know? You don't... You know, there's a Porsche next to us and we don't even... We're like, oh yeah, that guy, you know, a little Civic. He's like, no, this is great. This is the fun part. I love the fact that the it has a uh, clear coat, you know, fading. It's not. Are you are you planning on repainting it, uh, or uh, or just gonna keep it like that? Well, it, it turned out to be. Uh, it looks good, uh, you know, like <laughs> not yes. just only in my eyes and also uh, some of my uh, just about everyone that can see. It. It's like, man, it match up. Uh, my coworker was. Uh, he told me. Well, he saw me driving around, going to work, and he said, man. You look like a homeless. You, you look like you're going through life, you know, going through divorce and everything. But man, I saw you. You punch it. It's like, woo. Yeah. It, you know. You're like, so. my friend. I'm not only homeless. I'm very happy, <laughs> so. and I have a sleeper. Life is great. Well, that's good. That's what they that's what you want, right? You yeah. want them to not even think twice about this car. As we both passed a cop today this morning, that was fun. I was nervous for you. That's the second time in my. Well, What's up with you, man? You, just, you give him a call like, hey, I'm meeting up with, you know? A dark cloud, I guess. <laughs> it's cloud. either me or, 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 well, it's either me or you or we together. It's just... It's just not good. Yeah, it's just not good. But uh, this one is, uh, when I first got the fund on this one, the first thing uh, on my list was to get it painted. Yeah. <laughs> you did not do Even that. Even Mako. You told me that. You told yeah. me that. I tried, <coughs> excuse me, I tried to strip some of the uh, things. This one here, I already got the door panels out and everything, and it's a pain in the, you know. Mm -hmm. And I gave up. I said, man, this is, I'm not a body guy, so mm. I put it back together. Forget it. Yeah, I even have a, what do you call, a quotation how much it's going to cost mm -hmm. to get it painted. And, nah. but, but after I put everything together, I said, forget it, because I don't want the overspray and everything. Yeah. As you see, man, you know, I have no control. You tell me, like, do you, do you like that feeling? <laughs> it's scary. It's a scary feeling. <laughs> That's how I can uh, sum it up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's man. It's a scary feeling. It's great. It's so it, good. It, it, and you guys push the power it, down it on top of that. Pumping out that adrenaline rush. <laughs> what coffee? We don't need coffee after this. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. Oh man, that's uh, yes. Uh, that's why it's really hard for me to go back to uh, NA. I, and yeah. I asked you that, like, because now the, the, the sedan is back to NA. Yeah. Like, yeah, I cannot believe to uh, 
I'm a boosted guy, you know. So I, go, I went back to my roots. I'm a boosted guy. Yeah. Well, when I was uh, 18 years old, I owned a uh, uh, 200 SX, which is uh, turbo. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so it's in your blood. Yeah, I fell back on that. Uh, I get you. <laughs> that roots. Mm. And and it is good. Yeah. yeah. I, I've, I've had some fun with the uh, well, Honda Accord right now. Yeah. But for how long it's gonna be in is a question mark. So. But. Uh, not long. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Not that long. Yeah. No, I get you. I get you. Uh, great job on this car, dude. Thank you. This is great. Absolutely amazing job and. No, that's cool. The fact that it's a Civic, I like it. The fact that it's a sedan, I really like that. Um, it's not painted. <laughs> so a sleeper. It's a sleeper. Yeah, it's a that's sleeper. the best part about it. Yeah. Like, who's going to think anything of this? And the car's quiet, so it doesn't, it's not screaming like choppy or, you know, it's smoky. It's, it's perfect. And you're still on pump. Yeah. So, I just, you built the perfect sleeper car. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you know what they say, um, you have to have deep pockets if you're a boosted guy. Uh, in the sense, it is, but if you build it correctly in the in the first place, uh -huh. listen to uh, people what you know, what they were telling you, what they recommend, they on their recommendation, and you'll be good. But if you start cutting corners, man. Yeah, do it, do it right, do it once, yeah. you know. And uh, once it breaks the first time, you just need to get up and do it again. Because otherwise, uh, this is my third time uh, boosting a G23. Wow. <laughs> and you're like, it's working. Yeah, it broke within, two engines broke within uh, a year. And I got up and third time a charm. Uh, this one is since 1996. Whoa. Yeah, I can show you the how many Civics out there that can you see that has a sticker of 1996 on the by the window. None. Yeah, this Whoa. one's got one. Still have really? one. I can show you that later on. Yeah. So what year is the car? This is a 1996 Honda Civic uh, LX automatic. Okay. So yeah. did you guys buy it used? No, it's brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Holy. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly all my cars are brand new. Mm. So. And aside from the last issues that you had, it's always been reliable, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, well, this one is a reliable car. I just well, now, hardly yeah, use it. you did all that yeah. work because it fell on your lap. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was the vision for it? Once the wife says here, <clears throat> whatever you want with it. Well, the vision of it is oh, um, I always wanted a, a track car. A semi track car that something I can use it on the street and one thing in my life is maybe like in a bucket list mm -hmm. is going out there on a track at least try it even just a passenger yeah oh no you gotta drive yeah uh, autocross uh, auto crossing uh -huh. that's what I wanted to yeah. I want to experience you that you want to do like a full on track yeah okay okay yeah doghouse doghouse garage yeah. those guys do a good I'll send you their information later because they're really good with beginners yeah they'll teach you they'll take their time and it's a lot of Honda, only Honda people, and they're really nice people. So I'll, I'll, I'll send you the fire next time they, they, they have something so you can sign up. I'll yeah. go with you. Yeah. What did you go with? Suspension is uh, Body Club. Okay. Yeah, Spec 2 on this one. Uh, I've been uh, reading a lot on the internet when you do a H22 swap, and since like uh, it's 50 pounds more uh, heavier than, uh, than the other motors, so I wanted uh, the spring. The compression load mm -hmm. so that's why i ended up uh, uh the body club because it has 1100 i think and the other is 10 it's eight i think oh, for okay. the rear so that's really yeah. nice yeah it's comfortable yeah. okay wheel and tire setup uh the wheels and tires is set up is the uh volk racing 16 by 7. i believe it's 42 offset or 38 mm -hmm. but uh yeah uh I, it's it's been a while now that uh, I forgot all about all the things that I put on on this car and <laughs> yeah, you hopefully built, I'll still remember it. You yeah. built so many different things. And then the tires is uh, 215, 45 by 16. It's Falcon Azenis. Brakes? The brakes is uh, 
Well, you can see by the color, spoon calipers, the twin block. Ever since that I, I hooked up on cars and I've been wanting to get one of those and finally, finally, at my age, I finally got it. So. 32? I get you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 27. 27? Oh, I'm sorry. I disrespected you. <laughs> and the rear, I didn't do much. Uh, just a uh, disc conversion. Oh, okay. Yeah, LX, came, right, right. That's yeah. Right. That came from a 98 uh, Acura Integra, a four-door. Uh, let's talk about the interior. What do you got going on if you don't mind opening up the door, Noel? The interior is nothing much, it's just uh, except for the two doors. I mean, for the, except for the two the seats, seats, which is the FRS seats that I fitted on there. You had them in your Accord and put them in no, here. That too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of like the FRS because it doesn't have the, the name, uh -huh. the badge and all that. And uh, I have a, a hybrid racing uh, shifter that I fitted on there. Uh, hopefully you guys like uh, without cutting the uh, trim. Uh -huh. I yeah. See that. I've seen the uh, cars with the uh, those shifter and it would be nice if they can keep the the mm -hmm. trim panels and all that. And I'm using a NRG uh, wheel and hub setup together with the uh, Mongo uh, steering wheels. Super nice. Yeah, I believe that was a 13 inch uh, steering wheels. It, and it's very comfortable. Yeah, I kind of like the the other steering wheel that I own, but this one it grows on me. Yeah. Future plans for it? The future plans is the what do you call that? The bracing inside. Uh, not the roll cage. Roll cage. Full full roll cage? Well, not full roll cage, okay. but start Maybe from like the a back. Six point harness or half cage. Yeah, four okay. points I think. Okay. I think. Yeah. Okay, like a half cage. Yeah. Thing. Okay. Yeah, help cage. So, I'm thinking so about doing it myself. Oh my! God. Because I wanted to uh, to build my own. I, I don't want it right. crisscrossing. Oh. I want someone to be able to use the back oh. without wearing a helmet. Oh, yeah. okay. And yeah, of course you would, yeah. because that's that's part of your thing. You want to try things. <laughs> but that's in uh, in the, in the in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's just about it on on the inside and it's yeah uh, DIY shifter knob. Yeah. I did that myself. You did your own knob? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course you would. Uh, I, I love it. I love the, the cloth interior. I love, uh, I actually, I'm starting to like the brown tan interiors now. So this looks great. It just gives you that sleeper, sleeper yeah. look, you know, it's like grandma owns this car. <laughs> and then you realize that grandma, grandma likes boost. And <laughs> <laughs> Something missing is the uh, car seat for a uh, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Just full on like the whole opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Well, or put a sticker of baby on board. <laughs> you should. You should. A snail on board. Yeah. stuff can you show us the, the <laughs> engine compartment if you please the d16 you said d16 right yeah said k20 <laughs> k what did you say k24 why does noel <laughs> this light a k-series why <laughs> get out get out of here this is the uh, g23 for some of you guys that uh, don't know it's a f23 block with a h22 uh, cylinder head uh, the internals are F23 crankshaft, uh, F23 uh, rods, and K20 uh, pistons in it. I have the block grease sleeve. I sent it to uh, LA sleeve back in pandemic times. Mm. And uh, it's a... Uh, I forgot what to call it now. <laughs> the intake manifold is uh, H22 Euro R spec. 
and it's a three inch uh, inter intercooler piping that I uh, DIY HKS uh, blow off valve with a tile wastegate and I'm using a, a GTR or a GTX 3582R made by uh, Pulsar dual uh, ceramic ball bearings wow. radiator is uh, speed factory that I have uh, recently uh, rewired my uh, dual fans correctly this time <laughs> yeah and I'm also using a uh, vibrant uh, oil catch can together with a level 7 uh, scavenger uh, or uh, venting yeah, to relieve all that pressure from the block. Wow. Yeah, for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, this is not your typical... <laughs> is he still looking like a homeless? No, I don't <laughs> think so. Oh my gosh, man. Well, this is crazy. Yeah, I think I did uh, such a good job on this motor that uh, I hardly see any oil being collected in the uh, cans. Catch. I think it has something to do with the uh, the little plate that I put on on the cylinder head, the little cover, mm -hmm. a baffle, mm -hmm. and that's preventing all that oil. Because okay. I, I was watching one of my subscriber channel, and he put exactly just like this, except for the baffles, and he ended up filling this thing with oil, oh, okay. Okay. and uh, spilled it all over the uh, engine bay. Okay. Yeah, and I'm also using a innovative uh, engine mounts which is i just figured it out <laughs> that uh, it has something to do with the rear mounts also the not ev i think hopefully everyone will agree h and f are totally different block mm, yeah i would think so right i mean the h is it's bigger. the way they sit and then i think it's a little incline, yeah because right? um i was trying out my uh a turbo manifold it's not sitting the same as exactly like the, like the h22 it's mm. different so uh i'm still battling the vibration on this one like the the right door being ripped up when a uh, at 3000 4000 rpm oh. i'm using a uh, insane shaft which is you saw it on uh, i don't know if you have seen it that uh yeah it the bear ball bearings or the needle bearings disintegrate and I got that exchange. Thank you, uh, Slim, yeah, for uh, honoring my parts. And they're all totally brand new, yeah, almost brand new. Mm -hmm. But really, I wanted to go after that vibration that I end up getting another axle. Because oh, okay. I want to get rid of it. I really yeah. want to find out what's causing it. And I tear out my rear bracket check out the uh, the bushing from the engine mount and mm -hmm. yeah there's no problem there oh, okay. but i think now i'm leaning towards the uh, half shafts the mating of the inner joints from the driver's side to the half shafts you think that's where they yeah the i think there is a play on it oh, okay. i even checked my uh, i removed my starter and checked the uh, torque retorque the bolts for for the clutch because uh, one time I found that came loose, but uh, the old checked good. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, the, the engine bay you did yourself, right? Yeah, I repainted it myself. And all this work yeah. he did on his YouTube channel, so definitely go check yeah. it out. Uh, you go above and beyond of just doing like, don't see this in a bad way, but weird stuff like a K series uh, <laughs> intake manifold on the. Oh. <laughs> like, I saw that and I was like, why? would anybody do this it's so awesome but but yeah definitely check out his youtube channel because i think you guys would get a benefit out of all these different um builds that you do and on top of that you're honest you're like this was my first civic i i'm still trying to figure it out and so when you did the the shifter and all that good stuff that was pretty fun to see so um man what what power uh are you pushing in this setup right now uh this one is dynode on uh Dana pack and uh, it made 460 but the guy brought it down to uh, 430 something I can't remember how much torque I think it's 380 something wow. wheel torque yeah wow, that's crazy. <laughs> but uh, 
I, I, I'll be honest with you guys, it's not really, it doesn't really feel that fast compared to uh, the Honda Accord. Really? Yeah. I, mm. So you cannot really get a reliability on this one. But I've been lucky on this one. Okay. I have never really have any problem with this motor. I work on some other stuff, but yeah. nothing on this motor. Yeah. yeah. Well, amazing job. Amazing job, and I love that the car looks like a sleeper, and you have this under the hood. Yeah, thank you. Keep as <laughs> is, please. Keep as is. Awesome. Wow. Wow, Noel. That's crazy. So good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, first time I've seen that. 1996 automobile uh, of the year. Yeah, wow. after all these years, it's like, man, it's still on there. Yeah. We've, I forgot to take it off. Don't. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't. So, you, you won't see that anymore. You no. cannot. That's so yeah. cool. Well, Noel, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, man. Well, yeah, thank you. It's always a party with you, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I thank love the fact that you're documenting things, man. Keep yeah. At it. I love that. So, any shout outs, man? Well, uh, well, in the beginning, uh, I would like to uh, thank you. You know, uh, this is the third time I've been on, on your channel. And, yeah, it means a lot to me uh, now. And, uh, yeah, to my wife. And, well, to everyone. Yeah, to all my subscribers and to all my friends. Uh, relatives and yeah thank you for supporting my channel yeah oh thank you man thank you for building yeah. some rad stuff putting it there <laughs> thank it's you. a lot of work you're putting in the work and then recording editing yourself like it, yeah. it's, it's a lot so we we definitely appreciate it i know that yeah. uh we would love to have more in that videos but you're just a woman you know yeah a family man works at night it's just it's a lot so thank you i know even right now uh meeting up with me in the morning <laughs> is difficult because you know your work schedule so right uh, it doesn't go unnoticed. Yeah. We really appreciate it, man. Seriously, seriously. And this is a rad build. And leave as is. Just have it be a total sleeper, man. Yeah. And I wasn't really hiding anything. You know, like, you've seen it. The, when I make some parts, like the uh, intake manifold, I didn't hide any secrets from there. So if anyone, you know, would like to experience uh, how I did it, it's there. Yeah. You show your mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, no, best of luck, man. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you around uh, soon as we <laughs> make something with accords. Uh, but this is rad, and I can't wait to see you at the track. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. In my lifetime, I will do it. You will. Yeah. You I will, will do trust it. Me, trust me. Even if I'm just a passenger. Oh no, we'll make it happen. Yeah. Oh, we'll make it happen. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for the time, man. Yeah. Definitely appreciate well, thank it, you. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to his channel. A lot of cool stuff coming your way. Uh, again, thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye, everyone.